Tale of the Tape brought to you by Dave and Buster's, the only place to eat, drink, play, and watch sports. And look at the reach advantage of Alimale McFarlane. Can she keep Emily Ducote at a distance? This is going to be good stuff. Here's Michael C. Williams. Bellator MMA presented by Miller Lite now features three five-minute rounds in the flyweight division. Brought to you tonight by Spike Sports. We introduce the blue corner first. At five foot two, weighing in 124.8 pounds, her professional record: four wins, just one defeat. Fighting out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, presenting Emily Bonilla Ducati. And across the cage, fighting out of the red corner at five foot four, she weighed in 125.6 as a professional. She's undefeated at four and zero, oh, hailing from Honolulu, Hawaii. Introducing Eliminate, the Eliminator McFarlane. And the referee in charge of the action, Big John McCarthy. Styles make fights, and Alimale McFarland is more aggressive than anybody Emily Ducote has been in the cage with in her first five. Fight clock brought to you by Miller Lite, the original light beer. Cheers, it's Miller time. Oklahoma State and San Diego State. Oh, Big nice shot early. Yeah, setting the tone early. Lee McFarland trying to get tricky with that ground game. She's a 10th planet grappler. That means unorthodox techniques, a lot of flexibility, great guard. Emily Ducote, a little more traditional with her jujitsu. One step at a time. Emily Ducote with that wrestling background, the strong wrestling background collegiately, had so much difficulty as a young girl trying to find a place to wrestle. Very, very tough. And that hip pressure now. Step, step, step over. over. Not in the full mount yet. She's Got the in butterfly leg lock down. trouble. Able to power out of it. See the difference with the stability of Ducote. Alimale McFarlane staying very tricky with the half guard. Trying to get underneath for a sweep here. On single leg now. Good sprawl by Ducote. Trying to find a home for that knee. Alimale McFarlane who spent so much time around the great Liz Carmouche cornered her at Madison Square Garden a couple of weeks back. Didn't know who she was when she first went to the gym. She quickly found out. Nice double leg. Now see if Ducote can get done from her back. We haven't really seen her in this position. Download the new and improved Bellator MMA mobile app for exclusive videos, fighter stats, upcoming events, and ticket info. So many great events coming up. You can also become the fourth judge and score every round live with other fans. Available now for iOS and Android. Even the fun thing, very tight here, working for ground and pound. Nice Good sweep. Team. Beautiful job, Emily Ducote. Still in leg lock trouble. Trying to isolate that left leg. You can hear this home court advantage here. Over 100 tickets. Emily Ducote had to come up with for this one. One, one hook. hook. Can't get the other one in because of the fence. Still a lot of physical pressure by Emily Ducote. Emily McFarland locked onto that right hand of Emily Ducote. Now switches. On the arm. Tough spot to get a Kimura. Surprising Moon Cooney doesn't try a little bit more to break away. She seems content for a grappling match so far, even though she hurt Alima and McFarlane on the feet. <laughs> Two young fighters really coming into their own. 
great matchup to have these two meet now. Might not be the last time you see them together inside the Bellator cage. This position she's in a lot against Rebecca Roof, staying close with the takedown. She gets it again. Trying to step over. And Cody trying to keep that half guard. Good job trapping the right arm of Dakota. Back to full guard, man. Tough round to score. Pretty even with one minute left. And this has been many different fights within the first four minutes. And yeah, this first round got to be up for grabs here. Walking up, wrist control means hunting for a triangle. Going for the armbar, trying to get it. Good job by Lee ducking her head down, staying too tight. Cody very active, looking for submissions. Nice sweep into full mount. That's her second of this round. And with a round teetering on the brink here, that could be what decides it. Strong start, strong finish from Emily Ducote in round one. After a great punch by Emily Ducote in the opening minute, this became more of a grappling match. Alimale getting the takedown, but some nice sweeps by Emily Ducote. And to end the round, a sweep, not just a sweep, a sweep in a full mount, good ground and pound to end the round. Wow, back and forth. That was a very close first round. Was those last 10 seconds enough for you to yeah, go Emily Ten nine, Emily Ducote. <laughs> Try to come in with the uppercut, eight and left. You see how, I mean, almost everything you could imagine, any number you could conjure is gonna be very even in that first round. Just to see the steps these two have made in the last year or two, this is high level stuff right now. I all think they're the two best right now in the division. So much external conversation, a lot of pressure media-wise. When is there going to be a title fight? Oh, there's hesitation. Nice. Good counter right by McFarland. And that was a big question for me leading up to this fight. We knew they both had ground skills. Who was going to own the fight on the feet? Well, even like, like, I said, tough, like I said, tough shot in the first round, but doing well to open up the second. And drive through with that right knee. Not accepting full guard. And Cody has to work from half guard. over the top. Look at her going over the top of the head. Emily Ducote almost out of that half guard. A lot of chokes she can set up from there. Emily has to be very, very careful uh, which way she turns her body and her head. Next Saturday afternoon here on Spike, Florence, Italy. Hometown hero Alessio Sakara, they go crazy in Italy when he's in the cage against the veteran Joey Beltran. We'll see Goichi Yamauchi next Saturday. 4 p.m. Eastern, live on Spike. And Lima McFarlane putting a lot of pressure on the back of the head. A lot of you know by now that middleweight world title fight will not happen next Saturday. We were waiting for confirmation last night, the injury to the world champion, Rafael Carvalho, will likely be rescheduled. And she was trying to set up there with some Darce choke attacks. Nice transition out of the back, and with Cody able to pull half guard again, but it's been Alina Lee McFarlane who's been the aggressor in this second round. Dangerous turn to give up to Cody. She gives up her back. Tried to sweep Alina Lee and got caught. Halfway, now stepping over the arm. Lima Lay is trying to take Emily Ducote's left arm yep. away defensively so she doesn't have it. Exactly. Much easier to get the rear naked choke. BJ Penn made that move famous. Another Hawaiian. 
Over there McFarlane, now she can get her left hand free. It's a dangerous spot for Dakota. Just grab her thumb, grab the whole hand. In survival mode now, has to get out of here. She's gonna turn this round around, because so far it's been one-sided. And all the legal and McFarlane, now she's gotta watch her arm. Watch that left arm, armbar transition. Emily Ducote was watching BJ Penn on spike with her grandmother <laughs> years ago. Now here she is. Always spot. Bad move. Never reach for the feet, and then you can't protect your neck. You deal with the feet with your legs. Gotta be very careful. Now stepping over for the arm bar. Dakota trying to control the feet so she can spin out the back door. Watch how she has her hand on that foot. Prevent from stepping over the head. She can post on that leg and maybe angle and come out. The leg isn't over the face. She don't have an arm bar. Now she switches, going for the arm bar transition. Dakota's got to move. She's out. She does. Emily Ducote on thin ice for the last 30 seconds. But she's still skating. Not going to be enough to win back the round, but she won herself a third round to fight in. Good stuff through two. In your corner, Emily. A huge cheering section for Gordinha, Emily Ducote. Given that nickname, it's sort of a, a Brazilian nickname for sort of someone who's a little pudgy because of her <laughs> love of donuts, which she no doubt will be partaking in when this is over. With five more minutes of work in what has been a fascinating two rounds that are clearly tied after two. 10-9, right, 10-9. First round for Ducote, second one for McFarlane. I said, don't go down this round. You gotta stay on your feet. The Cody submissions come off attack on the feet. Whereas Alima Lane McFarland more comfortable on the ground hunting for submissions that way. That's her money punch, that lean in right hand. Like the difference so far, power in the one shot versus a combination. Level change from yeah. Elena McFarland. This time, to Cody with a good sprawl. Cannot get the takedown here. She had a good cross face and went to the guillotine. Interesting choice. Much easier now for Elena to get the takedown, and she does. The Cody going for the guillotine, but hard to get. Don't have full guard. She's out. Pass variation here right into half guard. Emily McFarland doesn't have a lot of room to work now because of the fence. But neither does Emily Dakota. Oh. Keep that in mind. Can't shrimp, can't angle your hips the way you want to. Emily Dakota focusing on that left arm of Emily McFarland. Good. Holding on to it. Yep. Good wrist control. It's keeping her in the fight, but. Needs to get some offense of her own going. Back to half guard. And in the close fight, moving into the middle stages of round three, position here very important to everything.
Cody has really, really, really been a bulldog in half guard, hanging on to that leg. Always driving in is Alima Fong with that right knee. Back to her feet. Try to catch her in the scramble. A dangerous moment there for Emily Ducote. Emily Ducote has to win back this round. If there's any hope of winning a decision. Nice uppercut by Alimale. We've got some drama here. Final two minutes. Alimale is aware of the right hand of Emily Ducote. And it's Ducote on the level change in the tech top. Now she's really got to get busy. Not a lot of time left. She has to really go vicious with the ground and pound. Rubber guard from Alimale. Can't find it specialty. Yep. One minute. One minute. It creates a weak side, and that's what Emily Ducote is taking advantage of now. Just passing, or just staying in, in half guard is enough. She has to pass, she has to really do something to win back this round or get a finish. Only a minute left. Alimale doing a good job defensively here so far. Chan of OKC for Emily Ducote and all her fans here. Since she was unaffected fighting at home. That's really her personality. She shuts everything out. Alimale going for the Kimura. It would be probably more of a sweep from this position. But what it's doing is it's stalling the offense of Emily Ducote. You see the wrist lock there. She has a wrist locked up. Stalling the offense of someone who desperately needs offense exactly. now in the first Exactly. Exactly. She can't really raise up and get any ground and pound going. She has to worry about her left shoulder. Hard to finish here. But also, Emily Ducote can't get a ground and pound going. See, there's the sweep from the Kimura. Not going to finish from here, but she can end up on top. Good job. They have been far and away the two best in the division, and they showed us why tonight. Back and forth fight, not just the rounds, but within rounds themselves. Let's check out the Black Card Premium Spice Rum Replay, the bold 93 proof rum that's edgy to the core. Lima Lee McFarlane early on getting the takedowns, no fear of the wrestling experience of Emily Ducote. Emily Ducote getting sweeps in the opening round, showing that she has serious jujitsu skills of her own. But in the second round, Lima Malay starting to pull away, especially on the ground, her submission skills there, answering on the feet, the offensive. Emily Ducote in round number three. It was Alimale with the fast start, the takedown. Emily Ducote, Emily Ducote getting back into it with a takedown of her own, but I don't think enough time to retake that third round. It's going to be a tight one. Let's find out when we return. Alimale McFarland and Emily Ducote will go to the cards next. That statistical advantage for Alima Lay McFarland, even more exaggerated on the ground. It was enough to get the stat win. Did she get the win on the cards? Let's find out from Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll go to your three judges at cage side. Your first judge, Todd Anderson, scores the fight 30 to 27, while judges Dan Matisson and David Sutherland both see the fight the same at 29 to 28. All have it for the winner by unanimous decision. And still undefeated, eliminate the eliminate her, McFarlane. There's the smile and the emotion. A high level fight between these two. That was good stuff. And I'm going to suggest to you that is not the last time we see Emily Ducote and Elimile McFarlane in the cage, or the last time we see Elimile with Jimmy Smith.
I'm right with the, the winner, Ali Malay McFarlane. You told me Emily Ducote is the toughest opponent of my career. It was the toughest fight of your career. Very close, very back and forth. Yeah, and I just give her so much props. I knew she's a killer. And I wanted this to go all three rounds because I, I want the experience. I knew she was going to push me. So thank you. Hats off to her. She's amazing. The future for you, a belt coming in this division. How do you feel? Where does this position you? Well, I hope it puts me as front runner. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm ready for whoever they give me, whoever they think I'm ready for. But I mean, on paper, I'm, I'm there. Yeah, I'm the front uh, contender for the t title. Sorry. <laughs> Let's give it up for Ali Malay, the Eliminator McFarland, ladies and gentlemen. She did her talking in the cage tonight and has separated herself from the entire pack at 125. Ali Malay McFarland stays undefeated with the biggest win of her young career. She goes to 5-0.